this is when you when you look at the the details of it the penalties of it and because of the time constraints that that are involved um, I yes grant money is good but sometimes you know when your backs against the wall and you're forced to do something uh, it maybe not is not necessarily the right timing and the right grant monies to do um, it, you know for me it's kind of the the cart before the horse uh, it's a backward process um, yeah, we have to start the conversation, start with community, you go out and you get the input, you come and you have the process, you go through the advisory boards, you come to commission and you have discussion. And so that, that the commission and the, and the people are driving this versus um, this being done by a consultant and by staff and then getting some public input on those ideas. Um, I, I'd like to see the process flipped around. Uh, to where, and we had this with the ULDC when we hired you, you, um, the University of Florida to do the ULDC update. It was a sort of, I'm not going to categorize it as a backward process where every, all of those amendments were going to come and now for the commission and the public to put their opinion on that. And I, I really believe and feel very strongly it should be the other way around, that the commission and the people uh, are the ones that drive those areas that need it, what are the ideas, tiny homes, whatever it might be, rather than just being given choices once staff and a consultant put something together. So for that reason, I'm not comfortable with the process um, because of that backwards process, as, as, as I'm calling it, uh, because of the penalties and the, and the time constraints uh, that we are under with this. And, and again, the level of, of details and things that, that that de the Department of Economic Opportunity looks at and has to approve on these things. So I I'm not comfortable with it. I, I, I wish the timing had been that a year ago when they put in for it, that we would have been the priority uh, instead of here having a few months uh, to get something done. And I don't like rushing to do things just, just to get something done. Welcome to government, dear. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that way. All right, I see no other comments, and uh, with that, I'll call for the vote. And that uh, goes 2-2-1 two, two, with um, Mayor Yates dissenting. Uh, and I dissented for those reasons stated. Um, city manager and city attorney, uh, that being a contract with a governmental entity because we only have co three commissioners is that failed yeah. no, it's not an ordinance doesn't have to be it's contracts and stuff I believe yeah I have a moment yeah I don't know if it's a contract per se but yeah it's just an acceptance isn't it it's not a contract well it's an agreement that I would have to sign with the state Yeah. The city manager has the right to sign agreements and contracts. It's not, not not with governmental entities. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, so can we move on and come back to that? Um, call the vote at a later date or at a later time in the meeting so that we can I think we move can on. revisit it yeah. later on in the me meeting and that'll give the city attorney yeah. maybe some time to look at it because yep. this does have my name as mm -hmm. you know signature on it and mm -hmm. I can tell you and and I know vice mayor and I respect that from when you were here we did have mm -hmm. a grant writer and we had a different process uh, well we didn't always have a grant writer no I know so but uh, we no longer have that in some of the processes and this may be also some of the processes that are maybe somewhat different so uh, we'll, we'll come back to that we will um, table this item uh, until well I don't we can't table it it's already been it's already been I, I'd like to keep it open for discussion for us to figure out what we need to do we may have to do some other type of motion or something okay we'll revisit it later if mm -hmm. if we need to city attorney you'll do some checking for us all right okay <laughs> Next, we are going to take up items. Uh, well, F through N are all about yes. leases for the Family Service Center and the Senior Center.
so and we got over 15 pages of of documents for this meeting mm -hmm. so thank you both um i appreciate this you did you deserve the respect to be able to vote and cash it out okay please vote see how i waited just saying <laughs> <laughs> and that passes three to zero thank you okay take it back boy that was quick <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we uh, actually already approved the P and Q. Uh, we so need to have that t uh, discussion about D. D, the one that we failed. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want uh, to go the back grant. Up to that now? So we need to get kind of the city attorney's update on that as well as right. if we have to do something. Maybe the commission would like to uh, do what it just did with the previous item and continue it until you had another member here because the uh, section 60 604 does reference contractual commitments okay can we do that since we just failed we just i don't know if we failed it i think you well, you tabled it well well, well no, actually it was two by to a zero. two to one vote um yeah two there, to one. there was not enough to, to to pass it so it basically did fail um because there's not enough of us here right I, are we talking the same thing? We're talking D? Item number D. I thought that it was ref it was tabled until... No, you, we, no we took a vote on it. Oh. But because of the charter language right. was my concern. And during the break, I did get that and look at it. And that's my concern. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying I want this to go away. Uh, so if there's another way to tackle it. Um, can we, we have two special meetings? Because I know this is a very time sensitive issue. Um, and we have a special meeting coming up, uh, one tomorrow, one the next day. Um, okay, if, so if, the, if you folks want to add it. The okay. first question is, can we add it? Because, well, okay, question number one is, is it an agreement or a contract, right? Isn't that what it said? The 604, the Charter Vice Mayor says contractual commitments. So it doesn't, okay, so it is a contractual it commitment. No, but Does is it, it apply? To the yeah, grant. yeah. The, the, the it's grant, a grant. It's making a commitment to repay the money if you do not use it. It's making a commitment that you're going to indemnify them. It, it, a it, commitment so. that you're going to follow the guidelines of right. the grant. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, next question. Did it fail two to one? It didn't have the necessary votes to pass. Okay, I'm so sorry. it didn't necessarily fail. Right. Okay. So that means that we can, we can. You have suspended your parliamentary rules, but you did. can motion for to reconsider and the, somebody on the prevailing side would have to make the motion to reconsider. That's what was my, that, that was the next question. Okay, so when we do reconsider, we can then do another motion to put it on the Monday meeting, right? Mayor, Monday would be well, city clerk, can we do it on the Monday meeting if we're going to? Monday is the third. Mm -hmm. That is the, there, I mean, there's enough time that agenda has not been posted yet. Okay, that's what I was trying to get at, the, right? Hopefully it will get sent tomorrow. Will that be enough time or should we do it on Thursday's meeting? Can we do it on Thursday meeting with the agenda already? The agenda has not been done for the April 6th meeting either. No, I'm looking at this. You're talking about the 30th? No, I'm talking about two days from now. Like the mayor that, had just that initially. That agenda has been posted. What, but it's, but we did it? another item that we're gonna amend because we added something to that agenda. So agendas could be amended, right? I just wasn't sure if there was any requirement for this grant that had to be advertised or anything like that. Some things are funny like that. So, okay, so we can do it on Thursdays, Please. Thursdays meeting. We can amend the agenda if. I would rather do it on Thursday meeting versus tomorrow. This way you can get with staff and get whatever questions or concerns out of the way, just like you're doing with tech and IT maybe. We'll have to make sure the right staff. I need are. you to come up to the mic. 
we're going to have to make sure the right staff people are available to do it at that point. Right. It would be Thursday at... I, I don't know at 9.30 at night whether they're going to be here on, on Thursday. So if you want to make that motion, we'll do our best. And if not, you'll either push it out or it'll die because it, it can't go forward time-wise. Okay. What about tomorrow? But we, the special meeting on Thursday is at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. He's just not, Again, I, he doesn't know. He you can't can look at their schedule. You can put it on of those agendas. It's right. fine. Okay. Whether or not there's going to be, you're going to have time to get your questions answered in the meantime, and whether the right staff person can be here to do that, we can deal with it at that point, but I, I can't answer that question at 930 at night. Well, but put it me, on an agenda and we'll do our best. Let me, let me just say, I mean, my questions basically have been answered. Um, and, and I've shared my concern, as I said, that, that the process here is taking the process from what we normally would do with the commission uh, in just like the ULDC, when, when the commission is looking to amend a certain section of the ULDC and come up with plans, we have that process, the commission is involved. This takes the commission out of this section of the code that's relevant to this grant. And that's what my concern is okay. and, and if you've got another commissioner that'll that'll support it but mayor number one is that process in writing this isn't changing anything with the code is i mean does the code say that a grant has to come before a commission first before it gets approved or it's, before it gets submitted it's not the grant process but the process is coming up with things that will uh, change our mm -hmm. uldc and, and, and the procedure for the commission involvement, it, to, to, to have a situation where, because of time constraints, the commission is taken changing, out. We're not changing the ULDC. These are suggestions. Correct. And the commission has not had the opportunity to give those recommendations about the areas for reviolation and where but, this grant money should be used. But, but the recommendations are to come to us, and then we take that and decide. It's the uh, options. The it's the options that come to us, and the then we decide. The state is to comply with the grant requirement. Right, no. and they don't have the final approval. We're the ones who still have the final approval. Okay, but you're missing the point. We're being taken out of the process because of the time constraint here, and no. we're not able to utilize the benefits of the grant of having a consultant help us to come up with areas of this community that we want to propose in a project. For revitalization but it's common sense that those areas need to be revitalized everybody knows that it's been needing revitalization for 15 years i mean there's that's areas common north sense. Of it. there's areas north of it that also need it i agree so then we do another grant for those areas but in the meantime we shouldn't hold off on something that's been neglected for 15 years and and my point is is that you, you know just because it's what was the process prior, there's a lot of things we've done since November that is not the process prior. So change is a good thing. I mean, I just, I don't see, I just don't see what the problem is, I guess, is I what my problem is. I have a respect for the process to involve the public and the commission in determining But in this determining is involving the public. Of That's the whole point of the grant is for them to involve the public, to get the public input. That's the whole point, is that this is going to go out, get the public input, put different positions together to eventually bring to the commission for the commission to decide what to do with those particular areas. That's what the grant's all about. Well, that's what it should be about, but the plan is being put together and then delivered to us. Well, um, different plans. Options. Like I said, you know, it, it's, it, we need another commissioner to move forward on this. You have public comments. So, um, I have two, two public comments here, Jill Luke and Justin Willis. Jill Luke, um, kind of aiming this toward city attorney. Uh, I understand a contract within the charter, uh, what you explained is true. Uh, a grant is not a contract, it's an agreement. Uh, uh, this board handles 
agreements or contracts, grants, when it pertains to a budget only. The strategic planning that the city manager was talking about, that is the staff's duty, is to go out and try to assemble that, and they have done so. I think they have brought to you something that's phenomenal. It's an agreement, not a contract. So we need to look at Parley Pro, Parley Pro rules here at the charter at this point. Justin Willis. Justin Willis, Town Terrace. I can't believe we would let a grant slip away. It just blows my mind that we would allow our city not to get money. Our mayor would allow that to happen. That is, that just is mind blowing as a resident. This is a grant. You sent that grant to them. That meant you supported it or else you wouldn't have sent it to them and now you're not supporting it. This just doesn't make sense. I mean, this is for the betterment of our community. Please do the right thing. Please do the right thing. Do what is best for our city. Thank you. Thank you. And the grant opportunity was sent to staff. Um, again, the commission never saw anything in the grant application process. It was not proceeded with. It's the procedure that uh, is the issue here at issue. And with the penalties and everything else that's involved in the details of this grant, money is good for us to receive but also there's responsibility and commitment um, within the document. So, okay, so um, I will move to reconsider uh, my motion of accepting the 2016-17 technical assistant grant. I accept, let's. Yeah. How do you say that? You you accept in opposition or something like that? What is that? I don't know. City <laughs> attorney. Say that. Before, before we do that, though, city attorney is verification because of the question about this being a contract or uh, as what the charter was talking about, contractual commitments. Even though this is called an agreement, grant agreement, it is a contractual obligation. Well, isn't is the word agreement saying. in your in the charter? No, I read it before. Yeah, six okay. I read it again. Six, 604 says it shall require a majority vote of the entire city commission, or three, for the enactment of ordinances, resolutions, and contractual commitments. It doesn't say no agreements. It doesn't say contracts. It says contractual commitments, unless otherwise specified in this charter. Mm -hmm. So when you go into the agreement, there are some obligations that, that are conditioned upon recipient of the money that the conservative, in my opinion, the conservative approach would be to view them as a commitment of the city and to, to, to make sure we're complying with 604 is to make sure that, uh, that we have a, at least three votes I affirming this, it. I think that's a good point for you guys to, to vet out, but I understand the logic and I understand there can be a conflict in the charter, but that means every single purchase order the city enters into for whatever is a contractual commitment that would have to go before the commission. That's a valid point. That's a very valid point. But the, the purchase order that there's a, it's got contractual, it's got terms on it and it's an ordinance no. the, the purchase. <clears throat> there's a purchasing policy. There's a purchasing ordinance right that there's an ordinance a purchasing yeah, agreement the, ordinance the, the individual commitments that go out I, I just don't see how they're different i mean it's probably not the time and place but if that's the direction you probably it's a good to, point though it is the time and place the grant. look that if, if there's this much angst over a grant application it, we, we will do our best to have the it, if you if you'll give us the flexibility to have it either wednesday or thursday we will do our best to have uh, staff there that it gives also the time. Yeah, but is, is our commissioner, commissioner. going to be here Wednesday or Thursday well, I mean, sure if she's she, sick no, tonight? Knowing, yeah, knowing Commissioner McDowell, it has to keep something very significant 
for her not to be here tonight. That's I guarantee you she will do her absolute best to I be at the meeting say tomorrow. She's watching right now, and she's saying, I'm going to be there. Yeah, she indicated. <laughs> she's really like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's probably killing her not to be at the meeting. So. She indicated that she would be here tomorrow. She did indicate to me that she would be here at tomorrow's meeting. I, let me ask you another question. There's a public meeting coming up. I think it was mentioned before there's one coming up. Not a not a public meeting, commission meeting like we would have done if this was done back in 2016. Um, but there's a public input session or something going on Thursday night. Is it possible to publicly notice that as a meeting so that the public is there, commissioners are there, notes are taken, input is taken, and it's sort of a bifurcated kind of way of getting the processing <laughs> that would have been done had we were not been under this time Are you time talking constraint. about the Warren Mineral Springs thing? No. There, There's a public input session for the <laughs> revitalization came. process. For, for oh, setting oh, up oh. I think this plan. 5.30 or 6 Thursday night. Right, where they're going to be talking about this plan and the different areas and I and, and ideas so that they it's can formulate input it so that they can develop different aspects of right. it. <laughs> and so that's what I'm saying is that in order to basically sort of make happen what should have happened where there was involvement of the commission and the public could we publicly notice that meeting so that commissioners can attend with the public and comments can be from everybody I don't know if you can do that, and I don't. I was not planning on being anywhere Thursday night because it's not a commission meeting. So, but you, commissioners don't have to attend; they can attend. I thought you just said well, yeah, that commissioners could attend. If all right, if it's a if yeah, so we wouldn't need to be there. All right, you wouldn't need to, but we've done this before, where staff is publicly noticed, so that if commissioners, more than one commissioner, is making comment on something that it's not considered a violation of the sunshine yeah as I'm long not, as you publicly not, notice it i'm not worried about that i want to get this approved i'm trying to so, and that's what i'm and saying you can't do that thursday night what you can't do that Thursday. what night. i'm saying is if we move this and approve this going forward and then subsequently give direction for for staff to notice that public input meeting Okay, and have somebody taking notes and minutes. Um, that will provide the opportunity for whoever, whatever commissioners want to be there, want to be involved in this process, and not run afoul of sunshine. So, City are Attorney, you is that saying? Possible? Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you're willing to approve this today, as long as they notify, notice the Thursday night meeting? so that commissioners can be there to give their opinion. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm trying you to You will approve this, this today. Is everyone listening? You will approve this today, right, right now, but under the context that when you do your public <laughs> meeting on Thursday night, commissioners can be there to make their opinions and comments. Correct. Right? Exactly okay, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a flow here. Okay, city city clerk, is it possible to notify the public that commissioners may be present at Thursday's public input meeting on the Biscayne? We can public notice that. And it'll be legal if more than one commissioner attends. We can public notice the meeting that. Uh, you need one. to speak in the mic. Yeah. We can public notice the meeting that more than one commissioner may be in attendance and then we don't have to record it. I can just uh, show up and take, take notes. Handheld, notes. Um, handwritten minutes. Okay, so um, with that, I take away my- Brief Well, minute. I need to take um, away my- Very percent. rudimentary minutes. <laughs> well, I have to take away my rescinding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I have to take away my rescinding. You have to take away your second. Boom. Right, okay, and now you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Okay, so let me get back to this. What was the letter on this item? D. <laughs> D. Okay, 4D. So on 4D, um, I would like to uh, rescind. I'm sorry, City the Attorney, go ahead. would have to be from the prevailing side. 
I Wait, basically I it was failed, just... so I was yeah. failing. you said rescind. I apologize. I thought you said reconsider. I apologize. That's right. Continue, please. Do, 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 do you want me to do re reconsider? Or? If you reconsider, it would have to be Commissioner Hanks or Commissioner Carasone. If you want to rescind the vote, you can move to rescind the vote. <laughs> And that takes the whole thing away, and I'm able to make a new, fresh motion and everything, right? I interrupted you before okay. you were done, yes. Okay. All right. So, can you follow me? Yep. No. If I, okay, if I reconsider, that's reconsidering the same exact motion. I'm starting fresh. So, I'm going to rescind vote. my vote uh, All right. on the item uh, 4D. Okay. Okay. Uh, and... Now, I would like to... I apologize, Mayor. I thought the motion was to rescind the commission action on 4D. Yeah. The two to one. Do we have to vote on that? Yes. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm moving to rescind the vote on item 4D. Now, she can do that because she was not in the prevailing correct. side, correct? <coughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Second. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so I moved to Mayor rescind. moved to rescind the uh, her decision on the acceptance of uh, the FY 2016-17 technical assistance grant and seconded by myself. Yes. Okay. Vice Mayor. Yes. Could, okay. Could you repeat that one more time. Move to rescind her vote. Or, the, or, yeah, the action. Sorry. Rescind the action taken on the acceptance or on the 2016-17 technical assistant grant. Seconded by Vice Mayor. Thank you. Okay. So, call the vote. Oops. Nope. Go. Okay, and that passes unanimously. Right. So, oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, move to uh, accept the Community Planning Technical Assistant Grant Award of $33,000. I think someone just had a stroke. Um, and now, and I'm, right, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I think probably doing two separate motions yeah. would be better. Mm -hmm. And now I need a second. Second. Again. <laughs> Again. Move, uh, moved by Mayor, uh, by, uh, Mayor yeah. Yates to accept the FY 2016-2017 Technical Assistant Grant, seconded by Commissioner, um, yeah, it's getting Hanks, Hines. Hanks, Hines, whatever your <laughs> name is. <laughs> Good. All right. Call the vote. Okay, and that is approved unanimously. I believe there's another motion to be had. Go ahead. Yes, I was just trying to find. There's not on the calendar this meeting that staff was talking about. So can somebody help me out here? It's on Thursday night. Is that what it was? It's Thursday the 20... Mm, the 30th yeah, the 30th. at 3 30. no 6 30 i think you said. can somebody give us the the okay <clears throat> does anybody know the exact time he's looking it up yeah, looking it up oh okay <laughs> looking it up looking it up <clears throat> i don't even know what it's what it's called i didn't even know about it but so my point? <laughs> i had no idea I heard that. <laughs> oh wait, we we're on the widescreen. <laughs> we we're on the widescreen. Did you know about it, Hanson? No, you don't know what it is either. 
Yeah, I wonder how many people actually knew that this meeting was going to happen. Well, they sent cards out. Yeah, they sent cards out in the neighborhood. So I would assume everybody in the I, neighborhood. I thought I could find it quickly on her Facebook. I, I, I thought I thought I could find it quickly on her Facebook page. But call, call Anne Marie Olson. I'm not the there. expert that some of you are on Facebook. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. What about our Facebook guy? He would know. He ought to know. Yeah. Let's look it up on SunGuard. <laughs> Okay. Who looks at the website? Really? Go ahead. Six. And yet again, nobody looks at the calendar on the website. So, six to eight. What's the location? It was actually one of the ones the na newspaper carried for us too. No. -uh. It was. Oh my. It must be a biggie. Okay. So where is it? Where is it? Uh, job. <laughs> Phone back. <laughs> and this at the Lions, at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, at Boys the Boys and Girls. and Girls Club. And then you can find the address, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I would imagine that's open to the general public, so. Well, I would imagine. Yeah. I think they all have to be, essentially. Right. But it was only those in the area that right. got a notice. And so what are, do we have, do we know what this is being called? Is it the revitalization input or something? Do we have a title for it? Do we have a title there, Josh? Yeah, Neighborhood Conversation. It's on our Facebook page, it's on the website, and it was in the paper. Yeah, but the, it's a specific neighborhood meeting for the revitalization plan, correct? Well, well, I'm just going to get input. It's like, not on the revitalization. Right. It's just to get input to create. They want to see happen in their neighborhood differently. Right. Right. To improve values, to improve the right. aesthetics, to improve right. quality of life. It's to take input from the, the community. Right. Um, just right. Just like when we did a vote about what park improvements they wanted to see at, at a certain park. We mm -hmm. interviewed the neighborhood in a certain distance. It's just what they want to, what they think will improve the value in their neighborhood. Right. But if we ever right. get to approving it, mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what we'll do. Right. <laughs> right. But, that's what we'll do. <laughs> but okay. like I said, it's not just for the the areas that were anyone there. Anyone, anyone like go. people in yeah. the it's some of those areas public north meeting. on Biscayne where there's some of right. those, they can all come too. Okay, so it is a neighborhood conversation on Thursday, March 30th, 6 to 8 at the Boys and Girls Club. So the motion is to um, have the commission invited and publicly noticed um, to attend the neighborhood conversation Thursday night, uh, March 30th, 6 to 8, Boys and Girls Club. Is that correct, Mayor? Isn't that what you were making a motion about? Aren't yeah. Aren't you making uh, a motion? Making a motion to yeah. uh, direct... <laughs> I'm sorry. Make a motion to direct uh, the city clerk to publicly uh, notice the neighborhood meeting uh, regarding neighborhood revitalization at the Boys and Girls Club uh, on Thursday, March 30th from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, and uh, more than one commissioner may attend and to take notes and minutes at that meeting that's yeah, my what's, motion. what's legally required okay i need a second <clears throat> second okay moved by commissioner or by mayor yates to uh direct staff uh being city clerk's office to uh publicly advertise a notice stating that commissioners will be attending the neighborhood conversation on thursday march 30th 6 to 8 at the boys and girls club uh, seconded by Commissioner Hanks. Any conversation? Anything? I advertise you mean post on the bulletin board downstairs. Whatever is legally required for you to advertise for more than one commissioner to we, attend. We will post it. There you not go. Not advertise it in the paper. <clears throat> right. Right. And, um, yeah. And so, and the, again, the purpose that, that, that like I said, and it, I think this really gets to where I was focusing on as far as the absence of the procedure and, uh, the whole community, not just little neighborhoods or not just hand-picked places, but to have the whole 
community involved in some, in identifying areas of need for the revitalization. Um, well, and I think that's a bigger conversation, but let's let's it, straddle one neighborhood at a time here. Well, there's seven of them identified. So, but anyways, this gets the process of getting the public and the commission, or commissioners, uh, involved in this, and or a commissioner, yeah, or a commissioner, yeah. And that way, uh, as staff works on putting things together, all consideration could be taken. Okay. Any other comments? No. I'm just excited to hit that button. Okay. All those hit in favor, button. say aye. Aye. Or just push the button. Push the button. All right. There you go. That's unanimous too. Praise God, the grant's approved. Moving on. It's here. Take that back. <laughs> I think really we're we're this. Compromise. Well, this commission can get through right? anything. <laughs>